Okay, I'm recording this because I um, wanted to share this with you guys. I'm going to probably get rid of this view down here. Yep. All right. So this area here that I'm circling didn't come out until I dehaze my sky. Um, and I don't know exactly what it is. Basically, it's an area here that looks like almost a sun ray to me. I wondered, you know, if it was just like a flare. Um, but what I'll do is I'll delete this and I'll just actually go back and undo it. So I'll delete this to show you what the original picture looks like. All right, original picture. Can't really see. I mean, you can see a little bit here that there's a little bit of like a circle, but not until I um, dehaze my sky, which is where I select the sky. And I just add clarity and add dehaze to it. Do you see what comes out when that happens? And I thought, okay, it's a weird shape, but like, you know, it could be anything, but it's a weird shape. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I thought maybe it's a sun ray. All right. Well, that's fine. But then I went to the next photo in the lineup. I'll bring my film strip back up down here and see that I'm on this photo. I'm going to go over to this photo and notice where it's at in the image. It's just above this, you know, um, front window area in this picture. It's here too, but this ball here is moved out of the inner circle. I don't know. Um, it's moved out. It's not in the same area of the frame. You know, if you go toggle back and forth, you can see that it's in a different area, but still hovering above that front window. And I'll do that same thing again where I delete my edit on my sky and I'll redo it for you guys to show you guys what I mean. So select my sky. And then dehaze again. Now look at this. Do you see that? All the way outside of the circle. Oh, yeah, I was like, oh my goodness, am I editing it the same one? No, no, I wasn't. Look, so this one has the two circles and the one like really bright ball in the middle. I don't know. Um, and then this one, no, I don't know if I see the outer ring, maybe the outer ring is right there, but then the lighter ball moves out of the ring. It, it's really strange. Okay. And now two photos. Okay. Yeah. It could still be sun rays, right? My, this is a totally different angle. Like literally like it's me walking from one part of the property to the other, trying to, you know. Um, get a different angle on this house. I thought it was a really cool looking house. I didn't expect to find anything in the daytime in the sky. So um, <laughs> I usually just dehaze my sky to make my sky pop, you know, but okay. So I'm doing this now to the third photo. So one, uno, dos, trace, let me do a select sky. Look, it's gone. What? You're the knocking? It's probably the kids knocking. Um, okay. Uh, but see this circle here no the little circle's gone 
But again, it's in a different part of the frame. Like, it just, it seems like it's moving or something, or just in a different part, you know, not sure. Anyway, and then now here is the third. I'll delete the sky again. Select the sky again. And if you, you know, notice something else, there's nothing else here. So I remove that saturation because I don't really want some bubbly blue sky, like super crazy blue sky. <laughs> um, but yeah, texture, I'm just trying to take, you know, make sure this stands out a little more. But yeah, anyway, clarity is back up on the sky. I just added that again third photo. Now that thing is back in here. This, uh, you know, the two circles here are back together and yeah. So consistently on all three of the images, you know, this, this happened. Now, if you notice, I'm ignoring this black spot here. It's because this is literally, um, this is literally a drop of water or something. This is something that was on my lens. I could tell that that's what that is. Um, so, but that is not, you know, that's not. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what to make of any of this. Tell me what you guys think. Um, you guys can comment below. Um, and um, yeah, let me know what you think.